Right guys, you wanted me to show you what the difference is when you have an XCAR capacitor buffer connected and what happens with the voltage drops. So here we have uh, uh, the Tron 5.8 connected to the Neo and the, the transmitter. And this is right now from, you see from here is two, four, six, eight. So we're getting you know, 7.8, uh, so it shows there. And uh, we're going to create some consumption so you guys can see how the voltage drops normally. See? Right, so in order to save it, we're going to go into trigger. We're going to select the type a single, so there is nothing until it captures one of those drops. Okay, there it is. So as you can see, uh, uh, that would be two, four, six, seven. So right here, right around here, it's 7.2 or something like that from the normal eight, right? So as you can see, it dropped. And this is without the uh, S-card. The S-card is not connected, it's disconnected right now. Right here, you can see it, okay? Okay, the next test is with, without the, the, the plus, the x card plus, but with the capacitor. So now we have the same voltage, and we're going to try the same thing. As you can see, the capacitor helps slightly. So let's see if we can capture it, okay? So trigger again. Okay, same level, and we're going to make it into a single single perfect okay so we're gonna now see it it uh, oh yeah actually it comes pretty low here look at that so two four six yeah it's pretty low so yeah with the capacitor it helps but not i mean it still drops okay so let's try now with the uh xcar plus that should actually be better because the XR has a lot more capacitance than that little capacitor here. This is a small capacitor compared to the humongous caps that are thousands of times bigger on the XR Plus. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so now we have the uh, XR Plus. This is a 25. 25C, you know, 25 farads. So we have the same voltage, and now uh, we're going to apply, um, as you can see, it's much less. To the point that if I go and do it, um, the trigger, put it again in single, and we apply signal, it will not capture it because it doesn't drop below the triggering point. So it will drop only a few millivolts. And to be able to see it, because we cannot capture it since it's, uh, uh, we put it on auto so that we can see, see it's a barely any, any um, distortion from the, from the, from the top uh, voltage. As a comparison, I'm going to put an image here so you can see the difference between, so I'm gonna put this one here, you know, and on the, on the right side, you are going to be able to see the difference when it was um, without the, the, without the X-Guard uh, Plus connected. So uh, as long as it's charged, as you can see there, you know, that means that now the capacitor is fully connected at all times. It cannot start fully connected because it would draw too much power from your VC. So the first few seconds when you plug it in, it's um, going to be partially helping, but once it is charged after a few seconds, you know, it's fully connected. So it is way more than what you get with uh, the capacitor that comes with these um, servos, okay? All right, that's all I wanted to show you. Bye-bye.